Hi guys. So my name is Allie. I am a heroin addict searching for my recovery. And today's video is a is a Q&A. Which I am super excited for. As you guys know, I've been asking for questions for a minute. I'm trying to like see what's how I like my shirt best. I'm just playing around with my look a little bit. Obviously not a real Cuban link because I can't afford that shit. But cute nonetheless. Um, okay. All right. Stretch them fuckers out. Y'all are probably like, what the fuck am I watching? Okay. So, let me get my phone out for my Q&A. Oh, that's why it looked weird, because the other side of the ruffles was, like, not out. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, it's like super hot in here right now, but we'll be okay. Okay. All right, let's start the Q&A. I'm just gonna open my phone to the questions. First one, it's not related to addiction, but it's what eyeliner do you use? I'll show you right now, right now. <laughs> I'm getting close so you could see. It is Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow, I guess. Oh wait, no, oh my god, this is my brow, guys. This is the brow thing I use. Wet and Wild Ultimate Brow. I'm so stupid, sorry. Let me get the eyeliner, they look alike. It's right here. I knew it had pink on it. Master Precise All Day Maybelline. Master Precise all day. This is what it looks like. I don't really bring it in like close to the corners. I just like the outlook and I put two little dots at the bottom. I just been trying out like new looks and shiz like that, you know. Okay, so, wow guys, I think I have to put my hair up because like, holy shit. Fucking hot. Okay, guys, I just clipped it because I'm freaking sweating. Okay, next question. All right, let's see. I'm using my boyfriend's phone to record and I'm using my phone for the questions. Guys, I'm really sorry about like the view of this. I'm trying to use the natural lighting that's left, not much left. Orange juice and cranberry and vodka. Okay. Okay, so these are questions. I'm not sure if they want me to say their name, but I think I'm gonna. Um, this is from Brooke. Um, one, are your parents in your life and how do they feel ha slash handle your addiction? Um, my parents are in my life. Um, handling my addiction is not easy for them. Um, 
they handle it by if I show up high I'm allowed to go to their house for um, you know like events holidays whenever I want as long as I'm not high and I don't bring drugs into their house but this past Christmas this past Mother's Day I ruined that by going there high and I got kicked out but um before they were a lot more I don't want to say like they were a lot more on my ass about it but now I'm like I'm a grown adult and their biggest priority is trying to get me off of heroin before I die and I know that's sad to say but it's true um they want the healthiest relationship with me without enabling me and that is what they do are you does the clinic know that you're still using and do you get scared that they may see your videos? No, I don't get scared that they might see my videos. Yes, I, they know I'm still using. Yes, I've been using the entire time. What are two things you love about yourself? <laughs> That's like a hard question. Um, my eyes. I like my eyes and... I like my smile. I like my teeth. These are without braces, so. I guess I got pretty lucky there. So my eyes and my smile. Those are from Brooke. Okay, next one. This is Christine. She says, I have some questions about methadone. No holding back here. I'm going to get real personal because I know how open and honest you are. And I'm curious because I am also on methadone 100 milliliters. One, do you experience constipation? And if so, do you take stool softeners, prune juice, or anything to aid with bowel movements? I get horribly constipated. Like, so bad that I am on the toilet crying. Every time I am on the toilet... I'm screaming, crying. I, it is hell. Like, I'm literally scared of the toilet. Like, I, the toilet is not a place of release and happiness for me. It is a source of literal feelings of, of hell. Like, I am scared of the toilet. I'm scared to go to the bathroom. And, you know, this isn't just, like me using now like when i was a little girl i was still had so many problems with constipation i have ibs diagnosed and i was scared of the toilet when i was younger it would just caused me a lot of issues and now that i use methadone and heroin my bowels don't move unless i drink miralax i try to drink a cup full a cap full of the miralax a day but if I don't do that every day, I'll literally drink like half the bottle and get everything out. Um, even then, it's still painful. Like, I bleed every time. It's a battle. It's definitely a battle. Let's see. Has two, has it changed your sex life at all, such as difficulty reaching an orgasm or lack of interest in sex? Okay, I'm going to say this because I don't think... Travis is going to watch this video. I have a very hard time. And it's not like I'm not attracted to Travis. Because he is. He is sexy. Like he does turn me on. But with the drugs. My birth control. And the other medications I take. My sex drive is like non-existent. Um, I'm 23 years old. I used to have a wild sex drive, like wild, wild. Like I used to have like a porn addiction, like a straight porn addiction. Um, now it's non-existent. I can't reach an orgasm. Like I haven't had an orgasm in years. In years. It's been years. It sucks. Um, the only way... I can reach an orgasm is if I'm very relaxed and Travis does very, very, um, I don't know the word, 
he has to do very um, certain kinds of movements to get me to orgasm. Like it has to be very precise and it has to be when I'm in the mood, it has to be the perfect day. And it's just, it's been years, it's crazy. I don't have any interest in sex ever. Um, of course I still have sex, you know how that is. Um, I'm not go just cause I don't feel like having sex. I'm not gonna deprive my healthy, you know, boyfriend who has a very high sex drive. I'm not gonna deny him of his need, you know? But anyway, um, number three, she said, what is your current dose? I'm at 90 milliliters right now. Four, have you experienced any dental problems? If so, are you getting any dental treatment? Yes, I have noticed dental problems. The front of my teeth here, are chipping little by little like tiny like microchips same with the bottom and my enamel is like going away at like high speed because when i drink the methadone it hits the bottom of these teeth i think like in the front and so i'm trying to drink it like with an open mouth more um i brush my teeth an extra time of day and i we really want to make a dentist appointment because um the maintenance of you know heroin maintenance is very hard on your teeth in general it it sucks i am very scared of what my teeth are going to turn into and if there's anything at all that they can do to fix my my ever-ending crumbling teeth like my teeth are going to crumble to nothing like it doesn't look like it now like it sounds like i'm exaggerating but they are they're chipping away Let's see. This is still Christine. Number five. Has methadone caused you weight gain? If so, how much weight? A lot of you on here like to point out how much weight I've gained since the beginning of my YouTube. Like, I don't fucking realize it. It is one of my biggest insecurities. Um, I was 110 pounds my whole life. Super skinny. I was always skinny. I never had a problem. Eat whatever I want. And I was always skinny. Since I started methadone, I have skyrocketed up for 30, 40 pounds. So I'm at 140 now. And it's the biggest I've ever been. I, I'm the most self-conscious I've ever been. My clothes, like when I buy them, they're the biggest I've ever been. And it just, like last night, like some guy was, um, some account named like it cats are people too like some account like that some um trolling account was telling me that i'm a fat cow i'm a liar that i um allow women to be abused and i support the abuse of women on my channel because travis abuses me like it was just craziness, yeah, and they kept calling me a fat cow, and like, wow, you're fat for a heroin addict, and all that, and it's like, I know I've gained weight, I know, and you know what, look, I'll show you guys my body right now, so you can be the judge, ready, since you're all just so fucking interested, no, not, not Christine who watched this, who asked about my weight, this is like, the leap, like, she was not being rude, I, this is for the rude people, Okay. This is my body.
that's the cow that you guys have been talking about. There's the cow. Nice, big, fat cow for you guys to make fun of. So fat, right? Yeah, I know. I know, okay? I'm not 110 pounds anymore. I know. Yes, I cry about it every night. I know. You don't need to let me know. For the trollers. Like, I don't need my weight pointed out. Anyway... She said, I have experienced all of the above issues and it's nice to hear what others are going through and what they are doing to help aid with the side effects. So for the weight gain, I've literally just been trying to starve myself or eat healthier or eat less meals or smaller meals because I crave a lot of sweets on methadone. And it sucks. It really does suck. Thank you, Christine, for asking all your questions. I appreciate you so much. I was like pulling people's teeth to get questions. I was like, answer questions. <laughs> I mean, ask questions. That's what I meant. Because I was trying to make a Q&A video. <laughs> Let me see if there's any more. Okay, this is for SB. She's from Ireland. She is one of my favorite um, uh, subscribers. I have a couple favorite subscribers. You know who you are. You're the ones that always comment, always like my videos, always compliment me and keep me up. I love it. Okay, so SB. She says she's full of questions. That's what I'm trying to say, girl. I love you. <laughs> one, she said, do you use every day? Yes, I use heroin every day. How, how often do you use? Um, I use twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. I use 10 bags at night and four bags in the morning to get me up, 10 bags to go to sleep. Um, let's see. She said, I suppose Travis is already, Travis already recognizes the usage from the little part of your left ear if you are under the influence yeah he knows he knows he he watches me use and he never asks he never i know it sounds bad that i use in front of him but he doesn't he's not triggered by it he says he says he doesn't care about it he doesn't want to do it he is disgusted by it and nothing will make him want to touch it again I can't wait to get him on this channel so you guys can talk to him. He just keeps telling me that he's camera shy and he doesn't want his life blasted on the internet. But I'm trying still. Let's see. Three. Did you upgrade your daily methadone dose? Yeah. When I started, I was at 30. So now I'm at 90. Um, four. Do you, you have... Do you have clean tests? Do you, do you have clean urine tests? Sorry, there's like a language barrier. Do you have clean urine tests? No, I don't. Do you have takeaways? I did have takeaway bottles, but the fact that I kept peeing dirty, now I only get the Sunday takeaway, you know, because they're closed. That's it. Everybody gets that takeaway, but. How many benzos do you take? Um. I don't take Xanax as much as I used to because it took away a lot from me. Um, it took away my car, it took away my dignity, it took away my memory. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. I was doing a lot of inappropriate things. Um, things that I wouldn't normally do. And so I don't take Xanax as often, but I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I don't take them ever because I do take them once in a while when they come around I definitely do I don't drive I don't operate motor vehicles I don't leave my house I just stay home and take them and I know it's dangerous to mix them with dope but that's what I do and I would not suggest mixing them because that is how Travis's 20 year old sister overdosed right in this house, right in this room, right in this room she overdosed. 
She went to the bathroom. She was already taking Xanax the night before. She went to the bathroom right next to this room, shot up, came in here, and just dropped, fell face first, and she died in this room. So I would not recommend mixing benzo, any type of benzos, clonopin, Xanax with heroin, or mixing heroin with anything at all because it's deadly and it has caused so much pain and misfortune for Travis's family. Okay, let's see. And that was last year that happened. Do you have a short-term plan? Do you have a short-term plan of meds? Do you buy extra meds? No, I don't. No, I'm not on any other meds. I've been on Seroquel since I was 16. And I'm, I've been on birth control since I was 12. So... Do you have anybody you can honestly talk to without a I am fine and getting better every day mask who you can trust? I can talk to Travis, but other people, that's it. I don't have any girlfriends. I don't have any close people. I really um, isolate myself. Like, as you see, I'm... I've been in the room the past couple days. Um, I try to spend as much time with my nieces and nephews as I can, but I don't know. It's like part of me just always wants to be alone and I don't connect with females or girlfriends on a deep level. I don't feel like they understand me. I feel like I don't have the time to have fr fr friendships. And I feel like I'm a very disappointing friend. Like, I don't really, I'm bad at texting back. I don't really like hanging out. And who wants a heroin addict as a best friend who's reckless? And, you know, I lost my best friend of 10 years. And after that, I just don't have anybody besides my boyfriend. She said, I, for me and no friend person works. I'm still unable to open up my sad hurt. I'm still unable to open up my sad, hurt soul. Everybody know my happy, positive cover. Girl, I feel you down to the core. I feel you down to the core. I don't think even Travis knows my hurt soul. Um, it's a very hard thing to talk about. It's a very hard thing to move on from. It, this starts in childhood, in things just get buried more and more things get buried and it gives us more of an excuse to run to drugs but I know that you've been clean for a couple years now and I'm so proud of you and I love the questions you ask so thank you baby girl SB let's see if there's any other questions Sorry guys, just seeing if there's any more. Mm -mm. So, um, let me go to my Instagram. Just let me check. I doubt there's any questions there, but... Guys, if you want to see me on a daily basis, like, go follow me on Instagram. It is... Hate underscore Allie. Follow me on there. You'll see more of me daily. I post daily on Instagram. Um, I make stories daily. I can go live whenever you guys want. We can make like a little schedule. Um, follow me on Instagram to see more of me. I'm also add my Facebook. It's Allie Hate. Um, my email I'll leave below. I'll also leave the Instagram and the um, Facebook down below. Don't forget to like this video. Comment if you have anything to say. Um, and share this video if you feel it's worthy. Thank you guys for submitting all the questions. I love you so much. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye, baby girls. And guys. And baby boys. <laughs> Sorry.
goodbye my lovies i love all of you the same <laughs>